Good morning. Like my little snuggy blanket? <laughs> anyway, um, today's going to be a really big day. And I'm super, super excited because we are going fishing. Not just any old fishing, but we're going fishing on a charter boat in the Gulf. And we is my sister and my nephew and myself. And we're going up to St. Petersburg here in a little bit. And we're going to meet Captain George, and he's going to take us out in the Gulf and hopefully catch some fish for dinner and some other fish for fun because it's not snook season. But we're going to catch some snook and hopefully some redfish. And just we said we wanted to catch a vast assortment of different kinds of Gulf fish. So it's going to be a good day. Come along. Here we go. I'm super, super excited. This is Jenny and Colin and me, and we are going fishing. We are about to go over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, and it's going to be magnificent, so check it out. How pretty this is we're we're almost there we are at the marina and we're actually early those of you who know me know like that doesn't happen but it happened today scoping out the rocks in the water by the meeting place and found this little dude we're gonna zoom in on him Here's the other side. We're at the marina, or a marina in St. Petersburg, and we're about to get on the boat. Wish us luck. Alrighty, so here's where we're going. Yeah, I just caught a barracuda right here. Oh, hell yeah. So Cullen just caught a, a trout and we have to throw it back because it's too small, but it's there. There we go. Good job, Cullen. Jenny got a fish. Go, Jen. <laughs> Mangrove snapper, keeper number two. Go, Jen. Check out my flounder. That's three species yep. so far today. Look at its eyeball. It goes on the same side. Aren't they cool? gonna get a little lesson on the fish finder. It's pretty cool in color and he can split his screen four different ways. Get lots of good info that way. And no, I didn't get a video of every fish we caught because of, we were busy catching fish. So you can tell on that one. Okay, sure. so that was a rush. But now we are in a no combustion motor zone and so we're going to fish out here on the flats and we're going to calm down and pretend we didn't do all that. <laughs> okay, we are doing a hydraulic anchor thing which is really cool because it keeps your boat in position and you don't actually have to okay, let him talk about it. Oh, shut up. That works, you know, to hold us put. 
so it's GPS controlled and it keeps your boat where you tell it to. I need one of those. We're going to fish in the mangroves now for snook and anything else that is unlucky enough to bite. We're going to get close and then we're going we're gonna to basically get his head to come right towards the net. Okay. Colin's getting a fish. And then real, don't reel no more, come towards me and then get his head coming up. Ooh, that's a right snook. Lift, 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 come towards the net. <laughs> nice. Now. Cullen got a good old snook. <laughs> and there's Cullen with his fish. Getting his picture taken. Okay, so I just caught this critter. This is a Jack Crevel. And we're going to keep it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm so excited. Jenny caught another snook. And it's right there. And then the dolphins are showing off, but yeah, I don't know if you see that one. There we go, dolphin. So the dolphin just went past the boat and I couldn't get my video set up in time. And now he's twirling around in front of the boat and there's a loon. So we are moving because, well, one, those birds that I called a loon, that's not a loon, it was a cormoran and they will not leave you the heck alone. They keep trying to eat your bait. And then the dolphins are going to be very annoying because they come over and try to eat your bait and then you chum in the other direction so they go over there and then they don't listen and they keep coming around and messing with everything. So we are moving away because now instead of one dolphin we end up with three of them that will leave us alone and we also saw a really cool stingray but it was super big. And it would snap our line, so we didn't get to attempt to catch it. But that would have been nifty, maybe another day. So we are going to move. It appears that the dolphins are following us. Maybe if I try to take their picture, they will not. Because so far, I haven't been able to get them. Oh, no, there we go. I hadn't been able to get them on video, and I thought maybe if I tried, they would go away. But no. Dipwad dolphin. Cullen's catching a mangrove snapper now. Nice. Got ninja net. Jenny caught a fish. She caught a a snook. There goes a dolphin. I don't know if you can see it in the water, but it's pretty majestic. Okay, the most exciting thing happened. So I had a snook on there and the dolphins saw the snook and they came after him while he was on my pole. And so I went on the other side of the boat and made the snook go over there. And then the other dolphins came over there. And no matter where the snook went, there were dolphins after his butt. And he broke my line under the boat and, and a dolphin ate him. It's the last fish of the day, it's a snook. They're very fun to fight and they suck on your thumb if you do it right. <laughs> Alright, so I caught him. He went drifting by a little too close and I caught him. So he's going to get to see you up close or you can see him up close or vice versa. See, there he is. There's a shrimp up close. Like the whole thing, not just to tell you eat. That's the dude you're eating. Well, not this particular one, but you get it. Isn't he cool? There we go. All right, now he can swim away. We have to properly inspect him first. <laughs> so we really are going now. It's very sad, but we had to get out of the mangrove area with just the trolling motor. And it's a eight pound thrust here I'm showing to you. And I said they make a 120 that would actually probably even work on my houseboat in similar situations but they'd need three batteries and cost like three grand so that's probably not happening anytime soon but anyway pretty cool little trolling motor and now we're gonna pick up the speed to where we need to be and we're watching his hoverboard dude but 
He just crashed right when I turned it on. So we are bad luck. So we got back and there are a pelican welcoming committee. I'm going to play them. I'm going to put them in bags. Yeah. And, uh... So they're going to get to have fish guts for dinner here in a minute. Our fish is going to get cleaned. These guys are super excited. They just saw the fish get brought out of the cooler and they are waiting anxiously for their snack. Okay, these are the Jack Crevel and they're getting filleted and I heard that they're kind of oily and not so great to eat, but we're going to give it a try anyway and we'll give you my opinion. I said they can't be any more greasy than a raccoon and I thought they're pretty yummy. So, hey, it's not your fish yet. Like, you be nice. Turd. He was telling me about the pin bones that are sticking up and he's going to leave them in there because when I cook it, I can just pull them out and that way I don't have more meat to eat. So, we have a latecomer who's trying to be dignified, but he wants some food, too. And then, got this guy. They're never dignified. <laughs> <He calls. laughs> These guys are pretty cool. Is that what I'm doing? And Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Oh, yeah. Did we give them a Some small bait? Cool eat it. After they swallow it, if you wash their butt, <laughs> their tail will wag. Like they're happy. <laughs> like a dog. Just like a dog. I'm going to feed a pelican right out of my hand if it'll cooperate. I thought you meant like throw the whole net in. Alright, you're going to have to like behave. Come here, pelican. Come on. Do you like you're going to throw it but don't let it go? Or do you like a little up and down your arm? I'm going to try to grow my arm a little bit. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's being a hog. We know who the dominant one is now. He's so greedy. Oh, that's what you get for being greedy. Did you see that? He dropped it and it sunk and now nobody got any. Very, very patient. I'm going to get to feed it. Watch her poke you. So just... Oops. <laughs> Did you get it? Or no? Yeah, he got it. In the last two fish. This is how we celebrate a successful day of fishing. Actually, this is how we celebrate lots of things. And I couldn't decide, so I narrowed it down to six. So I'm getting chocolate and tiramisu and coffee, toffee, caramel, and wild berry and blueberry and coconut. So, guess what's for dinner? We are having some smoked mangrove snapper and we're having some smoked Jack Crevel and I brought them some spoonbill and it's under here somewhere. Oh, hang on a second. Some smoked spoonbill. There we go. And and some smoked Gouda mac and cheese. Do you see a common theme here? And then, and Chris made some delicious looking grilled pineapple. So we're gonna sit down and have a feast. Catch you later.